I was talking to your friends. They told me that in the past, you've been a simp. Yeah, Dan, man, he used to simp a lot. He's been simping all his life. Not proud to admit that, but um, I'd be capping. I'd be lying if I said no. Welcome back to another episode of Extreme Tinder Makeover, where we take average men and build them world-class online dating profiles. I'm your host, Hunter Lewis. Let's meet this week's contestant. My name's Daniel. I am 24 years old. Things have been moving forward for me. I've got my own crib. I've been working on my finances, working on my body, and I want to improve my social life and my dating life. All right, guys. So before meeting up with Dan for his extreme Tinder makeover, I wanted to get to know him a little bit better. And what better way to do that than to meet up with his friends? Let me start with you guys. Tell me a little bit about Dan. He's a humble dude. He's built himself up a little bit, you know. He's looking good, fit, but he hasn't made that final finish line so we're hoping this can get him across and get his roster up finally because he deserves it he's a good guy you know often in life we think that we deserve something but if we don't put ourselves in the position to actually get that thing the universe doesn't care whether we deserve it or not i don't really believe that good things come to those who wait i believe good things come to those who go out and fucking take them and that's what we're going to do for your friend today we're going to put him in a position where he can start collecting those kills and cashing in you know, all the hard work that he's invested in himself. He's gonna fuck. So Kia, what would it mean to the Persian community to see Dan killing it on Tinder, just getting multiple hookups per week? It would mean the entire world for Tehran, man. That's all I gotta say. With the weight of a nation on our shoulders, I knew that this extreme Tinder makeover was different. I was talking to your friends. They told me that in the past, you've been a simp. Yeah, Dan, man, he used to simp a lot. He's been simping all his life. Not proud to admit that, but um, I'd be capping. I'd be lying if I said no. I first got on Tinder in like 2016 and uh, <laughs> like swipe, 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 swipe. 500 swipes in, maybe one match. And I was using the premium parts of Tinder at the time as well. You can pay 30 bucks a month and get Tinder Platinum, but if you have a shitty profile, it's not going to do you any good. You can't pay for girls to want to swipe right on you. Right unless you go to wingmanplus.com. I happily say those simp days are over. That's something that I've nipped in the butt. Uh, I've got my shit together, you know what I'm saying? I'm just at a point now where, you know, I've built myself up, you know, I'm getting into shape. I'm getting uh, down to like my dream body. Everything's kind of aligning, you know? And I just want to like set up a set up a roster and not get flaked so hard, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think the key for you to stop getting flaked on so much, maybe even ghosted, mm -hmm. is to build a roster that gives you wiggle room to work with. And this is something I've noticed in my own dating life. When it rains, it pours. Tinder is even a little bit seasonal. You need to save a roster for those rainy days. And that's something that I think with where you are in your life, you have your shit together, you're a good looking guy, and we're gonna get you to the point where you will have a roster and it won't be inconsistent for you anymore. Fuck yeah, man. You're gonna clap cheeks on demand. <laughs> Dude, let's go, man. That's what I've been waiting for. We're gonna turn you from simp to pimp. All right, buddy. So why don't we pull up your profile and give you a little profile review? Let's do it, man. All right, Dan. So your first photo is absolutely gorgeous, to be honest. Big smile, candid pose. You're leaning against a rail. What I like about this, you're showing off the guns a little bit. This is a solid photo. You've got a nice clean cut. These are the kind of photos I want to take more of with you today. Now your next photo is kind of the opposite of what we want to do with you today. Tell me a little bit about what's going on in this photo. I mean, I think it was pretty good photo, man. You know, like in the morning, you just down that double double. I got the runs, you know, and uh, I just I was just dropping one in the woods just right then and there. And I was like, yo, take a pic. You know, this is a highlight reel. I really value nature. I just wanted people to know that. Honestly, buddy, you have a nice deep squat, but that's about the only thing I like about that photo. You start off on such a strong note, bro. But when girls are swiping on Tinder, they're not looking for things they like about your profile. Mm. They're literally looking for one reason to reject it. Oh. You started so strong and then shot yourself in the foot. All right, so the next photo, I like the idea, you know, picnic, flowers, but with the haircut and the joint in your hand, you kind of look homeless, bro. True. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that, but I don't think it sends the right message, right message. for Tinder. Damn, I didn't think yeah. of that way. Okay, the next photo is you with a bunch of $2 coins, toonies in your hand. A woman needs a great provider, man, and I just had to tell her, like, well, I'm about those bands, I got what you need, we're gonna go on the bus, we're not gonna go to Starbucks, but I'll take you to Timmy's, get you the small, get you the small cup of water. I didn't want to put big stacks of cash because I feel like that's showing off too much. I just want to be like, hey, that's my pocket change, and I'll show you what's good. I think a lot of guys try to do this on their profile where they're flexing their money, their assets, and if you're flexing too hard, it actually looks like you're insecure. 
about your wealth, mm. you know? So with you showing off your stacks like this, I just don't know if it sends the right message, man. Okay. All right, your last photo is you riding what appears to be a giant moose. Bro, once I laid eyes on that moose, like, it's true love, man. I just, just heard it calling my name, you know? So I told my boys, boost my ass on there. Right. And um, yeah, I made history, took that photo. All right, so your bio says seven foot eight with the moose boost. Yeah, you know, girls like tall guys, man. I will much great provide for you. See my two niece picture? Grammar's a little off, but- I don't think so. I like the wilderness. Sometimes I wonder what blind people imagine. I kind of like that. Honestly, Dan, like in all seriousness, man, your, your profile is funny. And like a lot of guys that have a good sense of humor, do make their Tinder profiles in this way, where they'll have like a good photo for sure to show what they look like, but then they'll include like funny like memes, funny photos of themselves and things like that. It comes off that you're not taking your profile that seriously. Mm -hmm. So when girls are swiping through, like yeah, they might get a good laugh out of you. What I wanna do with you is build a profile that's a little safer and that's harder to reject. Cause at the end of the day, I think what you want is a roster, not a moose. You're right, man. You're right. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna break up with a moose today, man. I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to get on board. You know what I'm saying? That's what I needed to hear. I think you're ready, Dan, for an extreme Tinder makeover. What we need to do first though, bless you with not just any haircut, but a one-on-one -on -one treatment from the best barber in Canada, Saul. I'm ready to take this shit to the next level. I gotta get that roster up. I'm ready. We've got a big brick of clay here for you today. You're Michelangelo. This is your sculpture to carve away. Amazing, let's do, this, let's boy. do it. Hunter, what you think? Buddy, the haircut looks immaculate, but you definitely gotta get rid of this neck beard, bro. No girl's gonna swipe right on a neck beard, boys. Oh my God, so I've gotta say, we've done a lot of Tinder makeover episodes, but this is by far my favorite cut. We wanted to keep a little bit more up at the top. Uh, we gave him a low undercut, and blended up to probably a mid fade, brought it in and mixed it up with the beard. Thank you so much, man. IG. You ready to see it, bro? I'm ready. Yo, jeez. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Yo. Saul absolutely blessed you with a fade and a For clean real. lineup. And now it's time to go take some photos and build that perfect Tinder profile. All right guys, so the first place we wanted to take Dan for the photo shoot is a beautiful, iconic rooftop shot. Today we're in beautiful Mississauga, Ontario, the shittier version of Toronto. In this video, we're gonna keep dropping a ton of helpful Tinder tips throughout. We're also gonna show you Dan's profile at the end, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Also make sure you pound that like button and hit subscribe. Tinder is all about trial and error. So when you're taking these photos at different locations, do things that make you uncomfortable, get experimental and try new things. You might just be surprised by the results. The line, the line is busy. Bro, Please wait. I almost got it. Oh my god. How did you do that, bro? I used a rooftop, bro. I broke into a million buildings. That's fucked. <laughs> When you're building your Tinder profile, it's a good idea to establish social proof. This shows that you're the leader of social situations and overall, a fun guy to be around. So we took Dan and his friends up to a nice condo balcony to show that Dan is the life of the party. So guys, buddy, the photo shoot's going really well. What's going through your mind? He looks like a different person entirely. This is a huge change. He's never done anything like this before. And it's possible for anyone to do this. You just gotta put in the work. It's not just Tinder. This is a perception change. It's an image change. Like who you are as a dude, as a person. And he's figured himself out now more than ever before. It's not like Dan's coming to me at his rock bottom. He's put a lot of work in to get himself to this point. And what I like to say to everyone that I work with, life is all about momentum. I can give anyone to Saul and make them look good. I can put anyone in a fuckboy outfit and take good photos of them. But it's really about 
what you do from this point. I appreciate you coming out and really having the best in mind for your friend. You know, that says a lot about you as well, buddy. All right, guys, so I actually wanted to bring Dan to one of my favorite places in Mississauga. This is actually kind of crazy, but I found this place during a tinder day honestly it looks like we're in scotland or something so had to take dan here for a beautiful scenic photo during golden hour the results speak for themselves look at this beautiful scene dude i'm feeling amped i feel so good i think with a lot of guys in life we're told you know work hard focus on your career get that money and everything else will fall into the place you know you'll find that nice lady you'll fall in love all that but the reality is, if you don't know what you're doing on Tinder, especially in today's age, it is hard to find that special someone. You really need to know how to approach dating apps strategically. And that's pretty much the missing puzzle piece with you today that I want to fill in and get you to that point where you're cashing it in, buddy. You got the success, time to go to the bank. Fuck yeah, dog. Guys, if you haven't yet, you gotta pound that like button on this video and hit subscribe. We're literally changing lives here, guys. Yo, guys, this is like super random, but we're actually filming like an extreme Tinder makeover for my buddy. Do you mind if we like take a quick photo of your dog? We'll need some prompts to get him late. That I can do. Oh, he's okay. Oh, I'm just a little gentle bear. Those Some are other. so candid too. Those are beautiful, bro. Nice. Dude, this pick is gonna get you like 30 kills on its own. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to get those cheek clap ratios been way up. Yeah. Go way buy some up. domes, buddy. Party Party one. Go on. It wouldn't be a Mississauga photo shoot without the icing on the cake port credit. We got him in a nice autumn outfit to imply that he's taking photos throughout the year. He just didn't get a one day photo shoot. He's a versatile man. Ironically guys, this is actually another place that I found on a Tinder date. One of my favorite ways to spend my Tinder dates is exploring and just seeing the great outdoors. So this show is really coming full circle. You know, all the kills that I've acquired throughout my Tinder dates are now benefiting guys like Dan. So if that doesn't warm your heart, I don't know what will. Smash that fucking like button though, boys. So Dan, buddy, what an absolutely insane day it was. You came in, I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning of the episode, you looked a little bit homeless, buddy, but <laughs> we got you cleaned up with the best barber in Canada, Saul. Took you on an absolute banger of a photo shoot across Mississauga all day long. How are you feeling, buddy? I just feel blessed. I feel so calm, relaxed. I feel at ease. It just feels so good, you know, to finally getting this nailed down. You know that feeling of like doing the same thing over and over and over, banging your head against the wall? I feel like that weight has been lifted today. All the stars have been aligning in life and this has just been that one thing that I think has been like my major weak point. And uh, it was really an experience, you know, and the, the best of it all is that my dating life's about to blow up, you know, and I'm, I'm so pumped. I'm so excited for that. I have a feeling you're going to want to turn the notifications off on Tinder because <laughs> your phone's going to be blowing up, buddy. So we built you a banger profile today but what I want to do on top of that is help you work with those matches too. make sure you're maximizing your chances of getting dates with them that way you can build that roster that you have wanted to build and really put yourself in a position where when it rains it doesn't pour you know you have that consistency where when tinder's slow you've got a good roster to fall back on and I know with the photos that we took today you're gonna to be right there buddy I'm really excited about it yeah man I'm pumped thank you this has been a pleasure it's been amazing thank you Okay. So guys, if you're like Dan and you're at that point in your life where you've been working out, you've been on your purpose, you've been on your career, and you're finally at that point where you're ready to cash in and start racking up Tinder dates and really get more experience in dating, I'm here to help. Going over to wingmanplus.com right now. Wingmanplus.com is your go-to source for one-on-one -on -one Tinder coaching tailored to your specific needs, guys. Stop swiping endlessly, but not getting matches, not getting dates, not getting replies on your messages. Guys, Tinder isn't broken. You're just using it wrong. My last two cents is this as well. People who are on the fence, who are like, man, I, I want something more out of my like dating life. I like, I'm not perfect. I got like tons of flaws, but it, it doesn't matter because like you gotta level up. So take some action, uh, go down the description, check out Wigman Plus, subscribe, stay tuned. Golden content coming out from the I got here. So bro, yeah, Thanks. let's go, let's go. Thanks. Course. And guys, make sure you check out Fearless Family on YouTube as well. If you need motivation, maybe you're going through personal problems. I listen to these guys all the time and Dan's always dropping great advice. No matter where you're coming from in life, I know you'll get something out of their channel as well. So make sure you check them out, boys. Link in description. What do you think, buddy? Should we show them your Tinder profile? Yeah, dude, we got to put them on. They got to know that this is the real deal. Sometimes I can be a fucking head. So tell me to your fingertips.
Dan, buddy, it's been a couple weeks since the Tinder makeover. How's Tinder? How are the dating apps? Any updates from you, Matt? So I've been staying a- active on Tinder. It was kind of just too overwhelming to ro- to use them all. So I was like, I'm just going to like work it in steps. But overall, I'm noticing I'm getting more matches with like higher quality women. And uh, it's the, the flakiness is, is less. After deploying my picks and swiping for about was it even a week? It was just like four days, five days of consistent usage. And then I matched with this one chick, um, 21 year old, hot Canadian, Polish girl, natural blonde, like smoking hot, like very attractive. Um, and uh, kind of just literally just used <laughs> your text game. Like I showed you like verbatim. We, we met on a uh, Sunday, last Sunday. So just like four days ago or whatever. So we just grabbed some teas uh, from the Starbucks and then uh, we just go for a little adventure. We watch the sunset at the bridge. Super romantic, man, it was beautiful. And then, uh, yeah, we got back here, um, opened up some white wine, some cheap $8 wine. <laughs> and then uh, it was just history from there. We Once we had some wine, we didn't even get crazy drunk, dude. We had like a half glass, nothing, barely a buzz. Just a little bit, just a light little buzz. And uh, we just put on some Netflix and went to work, bro. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I fucked that many times in like 12 hours. Like it was just nonstop, dude. It was great. You became a world-class talk boy overnight. I told you, I'm like, I'm gonna take this shit seriously, man. I'm gonna make you proud. You know what I'm saying? You did just that, man. You were like a real success story here. And like, Dan, was it difficult? No, like you wanna know the hardest part? Overcoming yourself, like, that's yeah. really the hardest part. Like, whatever your bitch ass excuses are, or like just being scared, like, oh, I haven't gone out in so long, I'm rusty, I feel fucking awkward. That really was the hardest part. Like when she showed up and we were finally like in for person with each other, it just felt like, oh shit, okay. Like, like it was- You're it just was talking to a human being at the end of the day. That's all it is. Yeah. She's probably more nervous than you are. Like she's meeting yeah. a random dude off the internet. It's really Facts. on you to just be chill and be calm and if you can do that you pretty much won the date right there in the beginning when you came in and your friends were telling me like you were simping a little bit but we turned you from simp to pimp buddy if you were clapping cheeks for 12 hours it sounds like you gave her the time of her life really like you gave her an amazing date so here at extreme tinder makeover you know i know it's all about giving the guy the makeover but the show is really for the girls like what we're doing is taking average men and making them better we're, we're creating a better dating pool for all of the women out there so that's that makes me truly happy to see that you took her on a date you're respectful but at the end of the day you both had an amazing time like bravo thank you man i appreciate it i appreciate it the honor is mine dude like thank you Show yourself.